all of you to today's session of market movers in which we will take a look on the euro which is uh, likely to reach the 1.2 level in uh, coming session this is the level which is uh, pretty much on the horizon for the euro usd and uh, i think if we consider the strong rally starting from 1.12 to now it looks uh, pretty much uh, kind of uh, of course i can't say certain but uh, still pretty much the probability is uh, high in the vicinity of 80 to 90 percent that in coming sessions we will see euro usd moving past this uh, important barrier if you consider the trading context for the day we got uh, plenty of data for uh, today's session and uh, in the european trading session we got the final pmi numbers for germany euro area as well as france and uh, these were pretty much uh, in line with the expectation and also not much of an revision was seen in uh, the prior estimates later on we got these uh, retail sales and uh, here for the month of june we are uh, seeing uh, expansion and uh, both in terms of year on year as well as uh, month on month the retail sales have risen which is a positive news for the euro area and uh, that shows that uh, people are uh, uh, feeling confident to spend and uh, I think uh, that is uh, because of uh, largely the European countries have succeeded in bringing the coronavirus epidemic the outbreak in uh, control and because of that the people are uh, feeling more confident there coming to the North American trading session we are uh, scheduled to get these uh, ISM non-manufacturing PMI data just in a while and uh, here the expectations are on the higher side and uh, we are expecting a reading almost in the vicinity of 55 which will kind of indicate that the expansion is happening uh, with a strong momentum but uh, one uh, major driving factor is that uh, we are coming in from a trough so here this expansion is happening on back of earlier contractions and uh, that's why this reading is uh, on the higher side and uh, in due course of time it will uh, stabilize in coming months later on we are also going to get these uh, eis wti crude oil inventory data and uh, here the trend of uh, seeing drawdown in inventory is likely to continue last week we saw the drawdown of almost more than 10 million barrels and even for this week the week ended 31st of July we are likely to see a drawdown of uh, around 3 million barrels and if uh, the inventory data comes as per the expectations I think the strong momentum which we are seeing in the light crude oil prices will uh, continue and uh, the crude oil might eventually try to get past the US dollar 45 per barrel levels and move towards US dollar 50 per barrel levels in coming weeks or coming months. Now let's uh, shift our attention to the technical segment. Here we will cover the Euro USD and the USD JPY. Let's start with the US, Euro USD's technical outlook. This is the daily time frame chart, and after showing some uh, volatility after getting close to this 100% Fibonacci expansion of its uh, prior rally, the Euro USD is again. Uh, seeing fresh buying impetus and uh, after making a low closer to 1.17 level the euro usd is uh, pretty much on track to now get towards uh, 1.2 price level and uh, its recently established swing high above 1.19 is uh, likely to fall maybe even in today's station right now we are uh, pretty close to 1.19 level and from current levels the level of 1.2 is not far away only 100 pips and uh, considering the strong momentum which we have seen in the euro usd for past couple of weeks i think uh, that looks uh, pretty much possible and also one factor is uh, going to be the uh, comparatively better uh, economic conditions right now prevailing in the euro area because of uh, the efficient management of the coronavirus epidemic there compared to the United States. In the United States, the cases are still rising and uh, that has uh, resulted in the economy 
being on the back foot and uh, that is also reflecting in the weakness which we are seeing in the us dollar if we are going to figure out any opportunity for going on a long trade in the euro usd then i think we will have to mostly rely on these uh, lower time frame chart where both these uh, indicator the regression curve as well as the pivot point series drawn on the monthly time frame are pointing to the continuation of the uptrend and even if we consider the price action here we saw this uh, reversal happening both the times after consolidation closer to 1.17 level so from this perspective i think we are uh, likely to see euro usd continue to trade higher and uh, even though there has been substantial move starting from 1.12 still the steam is uh, still there in the euro and i think uh, the levels of 1.2 are uh, pretty much probable the next uh, resistance works out above 1.2 level here at around 1.1 1.206 so that's almost uh, 160 pips away from the current levels and also the regression curve is uh, still steeply bent on the upside which is uh, signifying the kind of swift nature of this rise after due consolidation here and if we are going to trade i think uh, we will need to focus mostly on the price action here and on the lower side we saw in last two trading session the buying momentum coming in closer to 1.17 price area and now the immediate uh, support is likely to prevail in these uh, price swing highs the price zone around 1.18 and of course i would like to remind that even that price zone is not really close and uh, we will need to kind of wait and uh, and even we might need to pray that we see some sort of correction in the euro usd closer to 1.18 so that we can make a fresh entry but uh, i am not sure if that's going to happen now of course in the earlier hours of today's european trading session we were having that opportunity but then our uh, session comes during the north american trading session and now by this time we have already seen this uh, large move on the upside but still i think if we can get a fresh opportunity later on that should be lapped up and uh, here the near term support is likely to stay in this uh, price area we have this couple of uh, couple of uh, indicators the 100 sma is there and just below that we have 50 sma and not far away is 200 sma so which uh, we can expect to act as a strong cluster of support and that's why even after uh, seeing these uh, prior swing low uh, sorry prior swing highs also being in that area I feel these couple of factors will um, pr keep providing the near term support closer to these price zones and if we see some correction and of course then due consolidation closer to these uh, levels then that should be an uh, excellent opportunity to go for a long trade in the euro usd and uh, the stop loss can come just closer to these immediate uh, swing low which is there around 1.172 and on the high side the target is uh, going to be pretty close to 1.2 so here the risk reward ratio is of course in the vicinity of 1 is to 2 and uh, i think um, considering the fact that volatility is higher these days and also uh, that our stop losses and uh, targets are wide so we will need to keep our lot size uh, rather limited and uh, plan according to the equity you have in your trading accounts now moving on to the usd jpy's technical outlook this is the usd jpy and after uh, bouncing sharply from this 100 percent fibonacci expansion of its uh, prior fall the usd jpy managed to go get close to the 61.8 percent uh, fibonacci level but this uh, pro uh, too strong resistance for the usd jpy to cross above and sustain so again Starting from yesterday's trading session, we are seeing fresh selling pressure in the price area of USD JPY. And here, I think uh, 
this uh, resistance which is uh, being taken as per these prior spring lows and also this consolidation phase which we are now experiencing in the USD JPY is uh, likely to keep the USD JPY as upside limited and rather if it doesn't really hold then we can uh, expect the move of USD JPY closer again to this uh, immediate swing low of around 104 so from that perspective I think we have indeed the opportunity for us to exploit and all we need to do is watch this crucial price zones in the USD JPY so here we have this uh, central pivot point for the monthly pivot point series drawn in the euro usd we have the resistance in form of this uh, central pivot point and unless and until there is a clear break and the price is winning above this the near term outlook is likely to remain bearish so here this um, price area of 106.09 is uh, going to be of crucial importance and also on the lower side we have the first support coming in pretty close to this uh, immediate swing low and uh, that means on the lower side if we see a break then that opens up the possibility of USD JPY continuing to move lower and uh, in the process it uh, might even net you some uh, decent profit if you can get the trade setup and trade entry right regression curve still remains bent on the lower side and as I said the pivot point series also pointing to the continuation of the bearish trajectory in the USD JPY so here now we have to rely on this uh, hourly chart here and um, for USD JPY we saw this uh, sharp move on the upside after making low closer to the one point uh, sorry 104 level and from there on the USD JPY rebounded to 106 and now it is failing to sustain on those levels and even in today's session we are seeing a fresh break below this uh, 200 SMA which was uh, supposed to act as a near term support and uh, on the lower side I think if uh, any move below 105.2 it will uh, trigger fresh selling momentum and uh, then in such a scenario the natural target on the lower side will work out closer to this uh, prior swing low established around 104.20 area so here watch out how the price action unfolds during the US trading session and if we don't see really any reversal happening and uh, the price action remains on the weaker side then I think that's the time to get involved for selling the USD JPY with the target coming in as I said closer to this immediate support area and on the higher side the stop loss can be just closer to this uh, prior uh, swing high which is there around 106.20 so that's it from my side for uh, today's session if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write it in the comment section and I would be more than happy to take the discussion forward before I sign off I would also like to remind of the risk associated with uh, trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided have a fabulous day ahead see you tomorrow goodbye